All right, we're counting down to the beginning of NBA's free agency Friday, 6 Eastern time. And the biggest news, James Harden has opted in, exercising his $35.6 million option with the Sixers. But not to stay, it's to clear the way for the team and the 10-time All-Star to work together to find a trade, sources told ESPN on Thursday. And Adrian Wojnarowski, of course, reporting that, reporting everything else that happens in the sport. And Woj joins us now. And Woj, I, I, I can't help but smile thinking back to when you when you joined me, when you came to ESPN back, what was it? It was six years ago. Is it really six years ago? Six years. That's, That's astounding. Right. But I mean, I think mm -hmm. about the excitement, the anticipation, who's going to go where, what's going to happen. How best does Harden sort of exemplify what free agency is and is not today? Uh, this was an interesting scenario, Scott, because I think in a perfect world, James Harden would have declined that player option, gone into free agency, and then re-signed with the Sixers on a long-term deal. But he could not be confident that the years and, and the money would be there for him, especially because cap space was going to probably dry up around the league on him, especially in Houston, where he thought he would have leverage and I think once Ime Udoka came in as head coach, they started looking at the roster, what they wanted to do in free agency. I think Fred Van Vliet has moved to the top of the list in Houston. And so what James Harden didn't want to get stuck was July 1, July 3rd, July 5th. He's trying to hammer it out with Daryl Morey in Philly. Doesn't like the deal. They're arguing July 8th, July 10th. And you're just dragged into no man's land of negotiations. So by opting in, he gets to $35.5 million next year, and now he can get a trade, uh, uh, I think presumably to a contending team. That's who would want James Harden. Uh, but I think he looked out at the landscape and didn't like what he imagined, and he is very likely have played his last game in Philadelphia. Although, you know, we saw Daryl Morey go the distance with Ben Simmons, uh, went through yeah. the whole next season. I don't think it'll go that long. But I'm afraid that this one uh, may go a while before they figure out where that trade destination might be and what's the best package they can get back for him. Leverage is the key word in any negotiation. And, I mean, look, Harden has been a star, certainly. He's on the back nine of, a, of, a, of a, obviously what has been a great career. What kind of leverage has Kyrie Irving got when it comes to, like, who, who you, like who's bidding against who here? Can you create a market for yourself in a sense, I guess? Yeah, Scott, Kyrie Irving is trying to create a market out there, and it may just not be there for him. Uh, certainly Dallas, I think, is going to try to show some restraint, some discipline in what they're willing to offer Kyrie Irving uh, with an extension, a new deal in Dallas. It's going to be more than anybody else can offer him. Uh, and I think he's going to try to spend some time here uh, trying to, again, manufacture a marketplace of salary cap space uh, and teams that uh, might actually scare Dallas uh, into thinking they have to up their offer. I'm not sure that's happening. That, that'll be an interesting process as it plays out. I still think Kyrie Irving inevitably will return back to Dallas uh, on a deal there to play with Luka Doncic. All right, we're up against it time-wise. You and I are texting back and forth earlier. You said transfer portal. What do you mean by that? What's, what, what is that now? Yeah, there's, there's fewer and fewer high-level players who are who've gone into free agency the last few years and who are going to be going into free agency. I think the belief around the league is you sign that max extension where you are, you fix the destination later. You, you know, you you give up money by going into free agency. You take less money um, by not re-upping where you are, and it's essentially an NBA version of the transfer portal. When I decide I'm done, you're going to trade me. And listen, for teams who are going to lose a star, it beats what happened to Oklahoma City with Kevin Durant, where they didn't get anything for him. You do get a chance to get young players draft picks, but I think you're going to continue to see free agency periods that lack star power, but the deals are going to be in the trades because more and more star players, when it's not going well, they're going to right. look to move on, and we're in a more of a trade mode. Life's better for you. You don't have to stay up to midnight with a bozo like me to break the news. You'll be you'll be breaking it earlier, Woj. We paying attention as always. I appreciate you. Be well, okay? Thank you, Scott. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.